What is going on everybody? Hawkfire 13 here. Welcome back to another movie pickup. We got about, let's see, let me count here. I didn't count beforehand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got 9 titles to talk about and at least like 1, 2, like 4 of them are 4Ks because man, I've been rolling in the 4Ks lately. <clears throat> but um, we're going to start from the bottom and go through all the Blu-rays first because I didn't really, because I kind of got these over the course of some weeks. So uh, we're going to start with like the five, six dollar ones that I got at Best Buy. <clears throat> Alright, the first one up is Broken Arrow. This is a John Woo movie. Um, Broken Arrow is f awesome. I mean, it's such a guilty pleasure. It's not really that great of a movie. You know, it's kind of bad in a lot of ways. But hey, I, I enjoy it. Um, John Travolta gives a hilarious performance in this movie. <laughs> it's like, you're insane. I know. Ain't it cool? Like, I find that hilarious. And... Um, it's a really funny movie, and it's actually a pretty underrated John Woo movie. And But this is one movie that you would look at and you're just like, John Woo didn't direct that, but he did, so. Okay, next up is a movie I watched on TV. It's a Sylvester Stallone and De Niro movie I, I had never seen. It's called Grudge Match. You know, it's essentially about De Niro and Stallone were big in their prime days, and if you ever wanted to see Rocky vs. Jake LaMotta, The Raging Bull, this is what you would get. Um, a lot of people don't like this movie. A lot of people think that this is like wasted potential, but in my opinion, I enjoyed the movie a lot. Like, I thought it was funny. I thought it, you know, it's like if you ever wanted to see Rocky vs. Raging Bull, this is this is it right here. And it has John Berthnall in it. Kevin Hart's in it, but he's not really He isn't he isn't really really funny in it. I mean he's alright, but I've seen better from him. But uh, like I said, I didn't think it was that bad of a movie. You know, I thought it was a pretty, you know, it's a movie that you can sit down and watch and just, it's easy to watch. You know, it, you know, it doesn't take out, it doesn't take a lot out of you to watch. And for Stallone, I don't think it's bad either. Or De Niro. All right. The last one of my like $6 uh, movies that I got at uh, Best Buy is Deliverance. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Deliverance. Um, I've only seen it once. And uh, all I know is that it's about squeal, piggy squeal, and hillbillies up in the fucking mountains raping people, and yeah, it's essentially Deliverance. Um, you know, Deliverance is a very interesting movie. Um, there's a lot of disturbing things that happen, and the movie doesn't really make a lot of sense after they get out of their sticky situation. Like, Burt Reynolds gets, like, hurt, and then I'm just like, well, I don't want to watch it now. <laughs> like, it has John Voight going around, and he's, like, climbing up the mountain. But I wanted to see Burt Reynolds go around and kill these hillbillies is what I wanted to see. But it's a very weird movie. I guess, you know, it's just a story about survival. But, um, the Wilderness of Terror. By the way, the Banjo Kid, um, he's right there. He really freaks me out, like... I don't know, I've, I, I, I was kind of scared of him. Like, if I saw him in person, I'd be like, yo, dude, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Uh, next one up is actually a new release. Uh, now I'm getting into, like, new releases that have come out recently. But, um, uh, this is Deadwood, the movie. This is the movie that HBO Films made about the show Deadwood. If you guys had ever seen the show Deadwood, it was essentially about the town of Deadwood. You know, you had Ian McShane, who played Al Swearingen and uh, Timothy Olpeth, who played um, Seth Bullock. And it kind of just, you know, it was about them and this town and, you know, everything that surrounded it. But um, I only seen this once when it came out. I don't think that it was all that great. Um, I mean, I love Deadwood the show. I absolutely love it. Ian McShane's character is Al Swearingen. I, I love his character. I think it's he's brilliant as Al Swearingen. But I don't know. I just felt like this was a lot of wasted, like potential like they could have done so much with the movie but so many of the plot points in this movie didn't really make a lot of sense like everything was happening way too fast that I was just like what that doesn't make a lot of sense but the show is absolutely phenomenal but it got canceled after three seasons but it took them you know a while to actually put this movie together and uh is it a bad movie no I don't think it's a bad movie but I just I don't know I didn't think it was um I didn't think it was phenomenal and I didn't really think it was good as the show was but um, definitely, I loved seeing Al Swearingen again, you know, saving, saying, you know, the, those thieving cocksuckers. But um, yeah, and even this movie fucking, this Blu-ray case smells so good. I'm telling you, you need to fucking start smelling your Blu-ray case. They put a weird chemical in the cellophane. I don't know what they do, but it's weird. 
If anyone wants the code to Deadwood the movie, if you guys loved the show like I do, there's the code for it. Okay. Next one up is another new release that just came out recently. This is called Midsummer. I didn't catch this in theaters. All I know is that it's directed by Ari Aster, which is like a new, you know, director in the horror genre. And uh, he directed Hereditary, which was his first movie, and this is his second movie. And Hereditary is fucking awesome. That movie is creepy. You know, it's exactly what horror should be. Toni Collette gives probably the best performance of her career and one of the best performances of last year. But I heard different things about this. I've heard mixed things. I've heard that it's a little bit too long for a horror movie. And I heard that a lot of the things don't make a lot of sense but that happen. But um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. But essentially what I know about it is that something happens in this family and they take a trip out to Sweden, I think. A Sweden village and like there's a cult there that start some weird they take a bunch of LSD and some weird shit goes down <laughs> it's really all I know I'm really excited to watch it though I fucking love horror movies so um yeah what I love to do with horror movies is I love to put myself in situations like this like if I went to a Sweden village I would never do LSD but if some shit like this happened I'd probably fucking I don't know shit my pants but um the horror genre has found a new master in filmmaking Ari Aster that's an IGN quote Hey, you know, might be right. So if you guys have seen Midsummer, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I'm, I'm definitely excited to watch it. I also love what A24 is doing with movies. It's so I love uh, what Blumhouse is doing with movies too. Like they just came out with a movie. They made, they gave a guy like a big juicy budget and put a, a Sean William Scott casted him in a movie called Bloodline. And it's honestly pretty good. Uh, I, I definitely check it out. I like Sean William Scott in the Goon movies and American Pie. So, But if you guys want the code to Midsummer, there you go for anyone who enjoyed the movie. Now the rest is 4Ks that I just picked up at um, uh, Best Buy. Two of them aren't new releases, two of them are. So we're just gonna go to the two that aren't new releases. First up, we got Rambo 3. If you guys saw my previous pickup, I got Rambo 1 and 4 on 4K, but I didn't have Rambo 3. Now see, I would have gotten Rambo 2 at Best Buy, but they were all fucking sold out. They had a copy of the 4K up at the front because, you know, they had like a bunch of Sylvester Stallone movies because, you know, Rambo Last Blood, but it didn't come with a slipcover and all my other Rambos come with slipcovers. So I, I was just like, no, I can't. It's just not going to feel complete. This is why also I love slipcovers because if you ever get cellophane that's left over on your case like this and you can't peel it off, you just slip the slip cover over it and it's 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 good to go you know can't even tell it's there and they have a security sticker on here because best buy is definitely weird about their shit you get that guy whenever you go in there that's just like he greets you but like he thinks that everyone that's coming in there is going to steal something and you know he's always watching the cameras and he's you know, it's just yeah, it's just weird but um as far as rambo 3 goes uh, i've heard a lot of people said you know I know Rambo 3 got a lot of hate, but in my opinion, Rambo 3, it's just pure 80s. It's just pure 80s fun, you know. It might be cheesy, it might be bad, but it's almost a guilty pleasure for me. I enjoy it. I enjoy all the Rambos. Even Last Blood. Last Blood, I didn't even think was that good, but I still enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want the... Uh, I love this slipcover, though. And by the way, look at Sylvester Stallone in that picture, man. Like, look at the dude. Look at him. He looks fucking ripped. I mean, I know he's looked ripped his whole career, but, like, Jesus, man. Um, anyway, uh, if you guys want the code to Rambo 3, the 4K, here you go. There you go. If code may not be valid after 2020. Well, somebody already got it. So, uh, next one up. I got this one because I held off of getting this one for a while because, um, like, when it came out in theaters, if you guys watched my review for it, I didn't really love it. Um, it's, uh, let me put it back in the slipcover, it's glass. Um, I picked it up because it was only $18 and I had a lot of money on me. So I was like, you know what, I might as well. I have Unbreakable and Split, so I figured I needed to get glass at some point. And I didn't want to get it when it came out for $30 because I just didn't enjoy the movie. So I was going to wait till the price dropped a lot on it, and I did. And so I got it for $18 on 4K, so... Um, like I said, I've only, I haven't seen the movie since theaters, so maybe I'll rewatch it and like it more. But just, they, David Dunn's arc, he didn't have the same arc like he had in Unbreakable. And I thought that 
it was so wasted what they did with Bruce Willis's character, David Dunn. But if you guys want the uh, digital download copy code for the 4K of Glass, there you go. But yeah, like I said, I just, you know, James McAvoy is great. You know, he's a great actor. He was great in the movie. And Samuel Jackson was even, you know, pretty good in the movie. They were all pretty good in the movie. Just um, did, Bruce Willis was my favorite character out of this whole, you know, kind of like trilogy of movies, you know, when he had Unbreakable Split and now Glass. But I just wanted more of him. You know, I wanted to hit the same arc. And, you know, even though these two have fights, it's like... It, I just felt like it was such wasted potential, and I, I wanted David Dark's un, uh, 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 fucking arc to be, you know, a lot bigger, than, you know, as big as it was in Unbreakable, but I don't know, I guess it's just not what we got. And the twist at the end of the movie, I was just like, what? This is like not what I expected. What the hell, man? But, um... All right, next one up is, this is a new release. This is a fairly new release. These these last two were new releases. Um, I got Zombieland on 4K. Um, the reason I got this is because I, I wasn't planning on getting the Zombieland 4K, but it was only like $17. And like I said, I had a lot of money on me, so I was just like, all right, no problem. And I probably should rewatch. I think the Zombieland Blu-ray that I have is like, I think this is like the first Blu-ray that I ever got. So, um... Yeah, uh, I, I wanted to get this anyway because, well, like I said, I wasn't planning on getting it, but I think it was a good idea that I did because I want to rewatch this, and if I'm going to rewatch it, I'm, I'm going to do it on 4K because Zombieland Double Tap is coming out pretty soon, next week, I think, and um, yeah, they always put the Blu-ray before the 4K, and I've been switching them around this whole video. Um, <laughs> get on there, come on, man. So, um, yeah, there's Zombieland. If you want the digital download copy code for the 4K, here you guys go. As far as the trailers go for Zombieland Double Tap, I think it looks like a good time, to be honest. And I'm honestly really excited to see it, so I'll rewatch this, and I'll be prepared for Zombieland Double Tap. Don't get me wrong, the trailers look good, but it's like when I watch the trailers, I'm all like, this looks good, but how did it take 10 years? My question. All right, the last one up is, this is also a new release. This was like, um, this was like $40. It's the, uh, they put the whole Cornetto trilogy, which is Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and World's End, all on one disc on 4K. Now, I own all three of these movies separately, but um, I was really excited for this to uh, come out on uh, 4K because I love these movies. I love the Cornetto trilogy. I love Edgar Wright as a director. I love Simon Pegg. Um, I'm trying to get this open, Jesus. Um, if I had to give my favorite movie in the Cornetto trilogy, for me it probably goes... Uh, I don't know, man. For me it probably goes... Shaun of the Dead, World's End, and then Hot Fuzz. Because I had saw Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead was like my favorite movie for a very long time as far as zombie movies went. And it still kind of is. I love. I just love the whole comedic aspect of it. And I don't know, I just, I, I always liked Shaun of the Dead. And The World's End, I love, I just, I love The World's End because of all the characters in it. I love the character of Gary King. And look at this, man. See, they give you the 4K, the Blu-ray, the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the 4K, the Blu-ray. This is how nice, you know, they're treating you, okay? Uh, but if anyone wants the digital download copy code for this Cornetto trilogy, which I highly recommend, you get, you're literally getting three movies on 4K. So there you go. There's that. Um, like I said, I'm really excited to see how these 4K transfers look. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't read any well, any reviews that are already out there. I haven't read. Um, but I'm really excited to see how all of them look. I might watch them all three in one night. Who knows? But uh, like I said, I'm really excited that this came out. I've been looking forward to this ever since it got announced. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, okay, guys. So that was my movie pickup. If you guys uh, let me know what I think of these titles. We got... Uh, the Cornetto Trilogy, Zombieland, Glass, which almost fell out, Rambo 3, Midsummer. especially know what you guys think of this, because I really want to know what you guys think of this. Deadwood the movie, if you guys have seen it, Deliverance, oh god, Grudge Match, Broken Arrow. I'm going to say it again. You're insane. I know. Ain't it cool? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My John Travolta impressions are not on point, but trust me, anybody can do a good impression of that fucking movie that he put out, The Fanatic. If you guys want me to do a full-on review of that movie, I will, because I watched it, not in theaters, but I, it's like a straight-to-DVD movie, so I watched it, 
and uh, I didn't buy it, but I watched it on my Fire Stick. The movie is terrible, but that movie is absolutely hilarious. That is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. But yeah, comment down below if you guys want me to do a movie review for The Fanatic, directed by Fred Durst, The Limp Biscuit. But um, excuse me. Let me know what you think of these titles. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, don't forget to check out my review for El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.